Hi guys, Marco Martins here from My Growth Academy and welcome to this video series on the eight barriers to learning. Today, the next barrier that we're going to be talking about is a cultural barrier. And this one is really interesting and some of you might get upset with me saying this, but this one for me is really important because one of the places that we become the most conditioned, regardless of how old we are or regardless of what culture we belong to, is the area of schooling. Now, schooling is interesting. In fact, let's go back to a very important person in the history of, in the history of scientific development. This person really, really struggled at school. In fact, they, they struggled so badly that they might have failed maths. Okay, who was that person that I'm talking about? Albert Einstein. Albert Einstein, today regarded as an absolute genius and de the develop the developer of so many theories that we use today in, in science and in maths, this is a person who really struggled at school. And the reason why I love sharing that story is because it's a culture. Schooling is a culture. And it's a culture of predominantly this over here. Think about it. When you go to school, the teacher asks you to sit down and be quiet. How many of you were that kind of kid at school where you got into trouble because you weren't sitting down and being quiet? <laughs> Okay, schooling is a culture of telling. The teacher tells you, the teacher puts information into you, and hopefully you can remember enough of that information to do well when you have to write your tests and you could succeed and you can get a certificate and a piece of paper and all of those things. But think about that for a moment because here's the danger with schooling in its traditional sense. Now, I know that there are many schools that don't do it this way, but traditionally, this still goes on in most schooling systems. When the school focuses on telling, the school also, schooling focuses on trying to be right. You want to try and be right when it comes to school, but that leads to a culture of don't fail. Okay, how many of you know what I'm talking about? Don't fail means get things right. You see, the alternative to schooling is a culture of educating. Where does that word come from? Education or educating comes from the Latin word educato or educare, which means to educe, to pull out. You see, the Greek philosophers were very good at understanding that real education was a pulling out process. It wasn't a stuffing in. It wasn't trying to push information into people. It was pulling out understanding. In fact, I think it was Socrates who said that the educator is the midwife. Midwife, sorry. The educator is the midwife who helps to birth something into existence. But you can't think for people, okay? The difference here with educating really comes down to, instead of telling people, you're encouraging them to ask lots of questions, okay? What that eventually leads to, instead of a culture of being right and not failing, it leads to a culture of people getting better at something. And ultimately, a culture of improvement. You see, if you want to apply this barrier to learning right now, stop telling people what to do and start asking them questions. Instead of telling yourself something, ask questions about it. You'll get, gain a much deeper understanding, but you'll also start to challenge the foundations of your understanding. So I hope that helps you guys. I hope you can apply this. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for watching this video. Before you leave, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, like our Facebook page, and follow us on SoundCloud. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.